Hi, this is Dr. Rita Marie Loscalzo. Welcome to the Fresh and Fun Living Creating Vibrant Health video series. It's very few people can stick with 100% raw 100% of the time. It, it just, it's very difficult. And um, I, I, th I encourage people to get up to 80%, and then if you can go from 80 to 90%. Actually, Gabriel Cousins, he's an MD in Patagonia, Arizona, he wrote that he doesn't believe that the above 90% gives you any additional health benefits, as long as the other 10% is good, wholesome food. It's not, you know, McDonald's. So if it's 90% raw, 10% McDonald's, eh, you got a lot of work to do there. But if it's 90% raw food and 10% is like, you know, cooked grain, cooked whole grains or uh, legumes or uh, vegetables, things like that, or even, you know, for some people, a small amount of, of uh, uh, fish, deep ocean fish, not farm fish, or um, uh, wild meat, or meat that hasn't been treated with all that, if it's a very small percentage of it, that's that should be fine. Now, there's certain conditions under which, you know, some people can't even do that, but, you know, for the most part, if you get up to 80, 90 percent, between 80 and 90 percent, look at the benefits you're doing. You have to look at, you know, the 100 percent is a hard thing in anything. I'm going to be 100 percent... Um, giving and loving. We all want to be 100% giving and loving. Isn't there, aren't there times when you just are irritated or somebody, you know, and you're not as loving as you want to be? That doesn't make you a bad person. That doesn't discount the 80% or 90% of the time that you are. And that's where a lot of people make a mistake. They go, well, I can't do 100% raw, so I'm back to the old plan. You know, it, does, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, 85, 80, 85, 90, it's more practical for most people. And easier to to yeah yeah some people start with fifty percent sixty percent then seventy percent then eighty percent you know just start adding 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 let go of the stuff that's processed and, you know the stuff that comes in packages cans you know that just has ingredients you can't pronounce <laughs> or yeah. or that you wouldn't have in your kitchen that's like that's one thing if somebody wants to learn labels in a quick short easy lesson don't eat anything that doesn't have an ingredient that you wouldn't have on your shelf in your kitchen to put into it if you were baking it, right? Anything that is not in Julia Child's recipe book, which is not the healthiest recipe book in the world, but you know what I mean. I mean, if you start there, you're not going to find, you know, butylated petro whatever in a recipe and you're going, I don't have any of that stuff. You shouldn't be putting it in your body. For more information, visit www.freshandfunliving.com. Thanks.